This video is sponsored by the all new Liberty 3 Pros from Soundcore. Today on Riff Spirits and Gear, we're going to check out five of my favorite guitars. Oftentimes, as musicians and particularly as guitarists, we're always kind of searching. We're always kind of searching and looking around for not necessarily the next best thing, but we're always curious to see what else is out there. Oh, how's that guitar play? How's that neck feel? How do those pick up sound? Well, for me, I get to play a lot of guitars. I am very blessed in that way. However, I do have some favorites and they're my favorites for different reasons, which we are going to go over in this video. Favorite guitar, number one, you guys have seen this a million times. This is my 1977 Gibson RD standard. This guitar, I don't know, this was a very big deal for me when I got this guitar. I think it was back in 2014-ish. I was asked on an FAQ Monday what uh, a guitar was that I had yet to acquire or play that I would really love to have. And my answer was a Gibson RD. I had never seen one in person. I've just had seen it in books. Uh, some of my favorite players had played them. Ghost was pretty fresh on the scene at that point. They were getting notoriety for playing RDs. But for me, it was seeing Dave Grohl playing one when I saw the Foo Fighters in 1997. And I fell in love with that guitar ever since. Well, I picked this up uh, out of the back of a Volkswagen Bug in Tequila, Washington in the parking lot of a guitar center for 1500 bucks. Came with the original case, the old guy slid it out and said, do you want to play it or not? And I said, oh, I'll pick it up and check it out because what was I supposed to do in a parking lot? And I just, I instantly fell in love, handed over the cash and came home with one of my dream guitars. I will have this forever. I will be buried with this guitar. This guitar is extremely heavy, sounds incredible and sustains for days. It's just a really weird, unique instrument and I love it. Favorite guitar number two, you guys have seen this before as well. This is what you guys like to refer to as Mr. Sparkle. This is my custom uh, Blue Sparkle Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray RS. Now, why is this one of my favorite guitars? Psychologically, for me, when I'm playing a show, if I can, in my mind, rely on something, it just is uh, one less thing for me to worry about live. And this guitar has been at every Dragged Under show I've played in the last two years. This is my main number one live guitar. It is very, very played, beat up, dinged up. And this is very much a security blanket for me. It feels how I want it to feel. It sounds exactly how I want a guitar to sound. And it's just been a dear friend for me and my music for several years now. I love this instrument and it's just, it's an old friend. And when I have this on stage with me, I know that it's gonna be there for me. And as weird as that sounds, I never have to worry. I never even have to worry about tuning this thing. Honestly, every time I take it out of the trailer, it's right where I left it tuning wise, which is unbelievable to me. I don't know how that works or why that is, but this thing, it doesn't matter the temperature. It doesn't matter if it's been dropped. It just stays in tune and it is there for me when I need it to. That's why I love this guitar. Today's video is sponsored by the all new Liberty 3 Pro active noise canceling earbuds from Soundcore. Now, in addition to coming in what has to be one of my favorite earbud cases ever, these 
are USB 3 rechargeable. They come in four different colors. Now the first thing that makes Liberty 3 Pro earbuds special is ACAA 2.0. Now, what does that even mean? ACAA 2.0 is an exclusive coaxial dual driver technology that delivers high and low frequency sounds directly to your ear without interference. Now, this basically translates to the user as a very wide sound stage. It makes the lows lower, the mids midier, and the highs nice and crisp. This makes a high quality sound without being muddy. Now, the other feature that makes the Liberty 3 Pro stand out from its brethren is the active noise canceling technology that it uses to achieve the noise canceling itself. The Liberty 3 Pros use an active hear ID technology. So it's taking into account your ear as well as the environment in which you are in. Now, if I was to compare these to the Apple iPod Pros, I would say these fit much, much better for me than the Apple AirPods for one. Um, these come with two different types of fittings for your ear. Sonically, these don't have the weird mid-range quack that the AirPods have. These sound like you're in a home theater system or something like that. They're very wide sounding, very deep. Now I will link down below in the description if you would like to get 20 bucks off for a limited time, not forever, limited time. And these are also available on Soundcore's website as well as Amazon and Best Buy online. So check these out if you get a chance. They are well worth your time. And with that, these have been the Liberty Pro 3 earbuds from Soundcore. Favorite guitar number five is my flat black custom 22 from Paul Reed Smith. Now this is a very unique guitar and it sounds incredible. It feels incredible. At this point, it is very played and it's pretty dinged up. There's lots and lots of play wear on it and I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, what is this guitar? Because you can't get this guitar off the shelf from Paul Reed Smith. A, because it has a satin black finish and they don't really make satin black finished custom 22s. They don't make custom 22s anymore. This has a McCarty switching system. So this has a three-way toggle, a master tone, and a master volume, and the tone pulls up for a coil split. Um, at Paul Reed Smith, they have a rack of guitars that are basically experiments. And these guitars get done, they glean what information they want out of them. They're basically like a proof of concept guitars. And then they basically go on a rack. And my friend James from the guitar store was in Maryland ordering his Wood Library guitars and he saw this on the rack and went, what is that? I'll take that. And he got it. I was in the store the day it came and arrived. I unboxed this guitar and I said, I have to have that guitar. And I took it home with me and I bought it. Um, this guitar has seen a lot of action over the years and this is all over the new Dragged Under album as well. This is just an amazing, amazing instrument. And that is why this is one of my favorite guitars. Favorite guitar, number four, is my custom Ernie Ball Music Man Axis Baritone. Now this is a one-off guitar that was made for me at my request by Music Man. This is a very, very special guitar in that they have made very, very few Axis Baritone guitars. They've made a couple. They did a limited BFR run as well, not in this finish. Uh, to my knowledge, this was the third third one they ever made. Um, they made an initial prototype that went to Stevis from Fever 333. And then I saw a photo of him with that guitar. And I said, I need one of those guitars. I really need a good baritone. And they made me this and they made Stevis uh, a pink sister of this guitar, which I believe has been smashed by now. And it does no longer exist. But anyway, this guitar has seen a ton of action. It sounds great. It feels great. This is an incredible guitar that is here for the chugs. This was built for the chugs and I wouldn't have it any other way. And that is why this is one of my favorite guitars.
And lastly, my favorite guitar, number five. This is my 2012 Gibson Les Paul Maduro. Now, this may look black. I made a video on this guitar. This is not a black guitar. It's actually like an oxblood brown. It's very, very dark brown. And as you'll notice, it has a rosewood fingerboard. Now, when I bought this off of Reverb, I thought I was getting a 2002 Gibson Les Paul Custom that had been toured a lot. And I actually had missed the fact that it had a rosewood board. Totally missed it. In the original pictures, it kind of looks like it might be a light ebony. But when I got it, I was like, oh, this is, this is rosewood. I didn't know what this guitar was. This guitar weighs about 11 pounds, 11 and a half pounds maybe. This is a very, very heavy instrument. It sounds amazing thanks to the bare knuckle nail bomb uh, set I have in here. And it's just been, it's been played the right amount. It hasn't necessarily been abused, but this thing has been all sorts of just riffed on and toured and gigged and it's been tossed in the back of a few trailers in its time. And I love it for that. And that is why this is one of my favorite guitars. And there you go. Those are my five favorite guitars, at least right now. It kind of changes a little bit. I mean, I have more. I could, this could literally be my favorite 10 guitars, but those are the five that I really gravitate towards. And uh, honorable mention to the Jim Root Fender Strat and the uh, Tremonti PRS guitars that I have as well. Maybe we'll make another video on more of my favorite guitars as time goes by. But with that, those are my favorite five guitars that I own currently. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something, and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.